today's video, we're going to... We're going to do an experiment about gases and its volume. But, but before that, that, let us know the materials needed. The materials needed for this experiment are oil, water, pipette, beaker, and graduated cylinder. Here are the procedures. Pour 50 ml of water into the graduated cylinder and 10 ml of oil into the other graduated cylinder. Pour the measured water and oil into the graduated cylinder. First trial with 10 pumps. In the first trial, 10 pumps were introduced and it didn't quite add with just a milliliter of volume, just approximately less than 1 milliliter. Now let's move on to the second trial. In this trial, we need 60 ml of water and 20 ml of oil. Then you can repeat the process in the first trial. With 20 pumps. As for the second trial, as pumps are increased to 20, its volume added with just a milliliter of volume or 1 milliliter. And last but not the least, third trial, we use 70 ml of water and 30 ml of oil. Then repeat the process from the last two procedures. Third trial with 30 pumps. Number of pumps is increased to 30. As number of pumps were increased, its volume also did within 5 milliliter. Based on the experiment, we can conclude that introducing air into a water-oil mixture using a pipette causes a total volume of mixture to increase. This is likely due to the fact that the air introduced into the mixture displaces some of the liquid, causing the total volume to increase. Additionally, the ratio of water to oil in the mixture also increased as more air was introduced into the mixture, as seen by the increase in the volume of water and oil in each trial. The amount of increase in volume varied with the number of pumps of the pipette, as seen in the different volumes of water and oil in each trial. In the second trial with 20 pumps, the volume increased by about 1 milliliter, whereas in the third trial with 30 pumps, the volume increased by about 5 milliliter. We observed that as the amount of increasing air is introduced in the mixture, the volume continuously increases, meaning the amount of pumps is directly proportional to its volume. This suggests that the amount of air introduced into the mixture is directly proportional to the number of pumps of the pipette. 